you've already seen me fill in my eyebrows and apply foundation a million times so instead today what I'm going to do is I've already wet my hair and what I'm going to do is take a few strands and cover them in hair oil so that that way they don't dry up and then start to look dry. I need these to still look wet since obviously the element we're doing today is water. I'm going to be contouring a little bit and then what I'm going to be using is a glow stick and you can use any kind of highlighter stick if you want to you could also use one which instead of having a golden tone has something like a blue or a violet colors which are mostly more associated with water than a color like gold I'm going to blend those out in an S shape which is going to start off just underneath the arch of my brow curl around the eye onto the apples of the cheeks then over the eyelid what I'm going to do is I'm going to be applying a glue which is specific for holding down shimmer. So you could also use a little bit of eyelash glue though this does tend to be a little bit rougher on the eyelid so you might not want to do this or just get it very sticky primer and apply that all over the lids before you go over it with a glitter. And this is cosmetic glitter, it's not regular glitter, you do not want to confuse the two. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit more. And then I'm gonna be taking a dark blue eyeshadow. What I'm gonna do is on the outer corner, I'm gonna keep this as close to the lashes as possible. And then what you want to try and do is you want to try and make it look as though you've been underwater and the colors slowly melted away down the sides of your face. So start to drag those colors up and then slowly feather them out. Feel free to take your time with this. You do not need to rush it. Slowly work that color out and then just try and let your hand do most of the work. When you're trying to do little details like this, overthinking it can kill it. So move from a larger brush to a smaller brush if you have to, and then gradually work out the patterns as they build up and evolve around your eye. After you've figured out the pattern, what you want to try and do is soften it. So you can either use something like a fluffy blending brush, or you could even use your finger just by going over it and tapping it very, very lightly to try and lift and soften out the whole pattern. I'm also going to take a little bit of that blue, add more of it to the outer corner, and then also the arch of the brow. It's not gonna be massively noticeable, but it is going to be there. Then I'm gonna take a bright red lipstick, dabble that over the lips, blend it out, especially down the center of the lips. And then I'm gonna take a mulberry color and this is gonna go horizontally straight down the lip line. It doesn't have to be neat at this point, you just want to apply that color. Then you want to take a lip brush or if you don't have a lip brush, use an art brush. They are exactly the same thing. And the art brush will probably be a little bit more precise as well if you decide to use that. You're going to blend out that color, focusing it mainly on the outer corner of the lips before adding some of that shimmer that we used on the lid over that C-shaped glow. And then that glow stick is also going to go over the cupid's bow and then the highlight of the lips. I'm gonna bring even more of that glitter down the nose, the chin, and the forehead before taking some blue eyeliner, and I'm gonna line that along the waterline. When I'm lining the waterline, I don't like to pull the skin down, and I know it looks like I am, but I'm not actually. What I'm doing is I'm pressing my finger against the skin, and what that does is it makes the lid roll out a little bit, which makes it easier to line the lash line. Then I'm gonna apply some false lashes, which I've already applied a few of those little glue dots onto them. And then what I'm going to do is take these little pieces which I made. Now you can get these little round holographic strips in art stores. And what I did is I cut them out so that they went over the shape of the eye and then also around the side of the nose. So I'm going to be gluing those down. And you can either use lash glue or an adhesive glue, whichever you prefer. And then I'm going to be making some fake water droplets. And these are very easy to make. They're just hot glue. So I'm going to stick those over my face before I take a white eyeliner. And this is gonna go around the eyes, the lips, also just underneath the eyebrows as well. And you need to think about this as if you're drawing the highlights on a painting. It's the easiest way to think of it. And then once you look at it from that point of view, it makes it a lot easier to figure out where exactly you want to apply these highlights because they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. And that's it, you're done. Let me know which one of the elements you want to see next. I still have earth and fire left in the series, so feel free to leave a comment on which one you want to see next. I'll have a new video for you next Friday, and I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.